Hey you guys, this is Jerry Matei with Music Marketing TV, and today I want to start introducing you guys to a new idea, mixing a song with Phuket Audio's Destructor. Now, you'll see that this is a really powerful uh, mixing tool when it comes to making guitar sounds, but one thing I think is often overlooked is the fact that it's, it's really good as a channel strip with a distortion unit built into it. So, we're just going to get straight into it. I have an acoustic guitar that I recorded years ago at a, an artist's house when I was recording him for his demo. And it was done in a small room, and I believe we only had a minimum setup, so it didn't come out amazing. But this was just for a quick scratch demo. So I'm just going to play it for you, and we're going to get straight into it. So let's see how it sounds. So right away, I mean, you can kind of hear there's some resonances going on right here and right here. It's kind of sounding a little ugly. It's been dry far too long. The summer sun is Right there, you can kind of see where the resonances are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into this. Alright, so already it's sounding a lot better. Now that's adding a little bit of volume. I'm kind of digging it a little bit, but I think it's not appropriate right now. So let's start off with the it's actual compression section. Let's see if we can use this to uh, add a little bit of nice compression to it. Now since this is an acoustic guitar, we kind of want to have some gentle wrong. kind of compression. Relatively fast. Cool. So as far as this EQ section, I'm liking this, but let's get rid of some of these not so nice frequencies. Let's reset these. Make that Q a little tighter. Yeah, that's where it is. A little boxiness right there. Let's add some shimmer. And then we're going to filter this off. So we add the destruction, so let's see what's going on now. I'm going to add a little bit of that honkiness back, just because I kind of feel like it should still have a vibe of what it used to be. Let's see how it sounds as far as the volume. Gaining a little bit of volume, let's bring it back. Looks good. Oh, that sounds a world better. All right, so let's pick a section where the vocal comes in and we can see how it is compared with the vocal. It's been dry far too long. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Let's bypass it. The summer sun has got it wrong. Is here again. Oh. Can maybe even bring some of this back. This will change, I don't know when. The day. The day. That the rain came. Cool. I think the only thing it would really need after that is some uh, reverb, and let's let's just slap on. A quick little wood haul on there. It's been dry far too long. The summer sun has got it wrong. Cool. The old Let's all the time. Is here again. Oh. I think it's night and day difference. And there you have it. This is how to use Bouquet's Destructor as a channel strip on cleaning up badly recorded acoustic guitars. Um, that's it for today. I hope you guys like this. I hope this was helpful and I hope this gave you guys ideas because one thing is a tool this powerful and flexible can only be used to give you guys ideas. I mean, think about this. I'm using a distortion plugin as a channel strip and I'm using the distortion section as a custom color tool. That's it for today. This is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.